So in this example, we're going to be dealing with the following experimental setup. Suppose we have a magnet with a north pole and a south pole. And this magnet creates a magnetic field of 0.8 Teslas. So our field lines, our magnetic field lines, start at our north pole and end up at our south pole. Now suppose we also play a wire that carries a current of 35 amps and we place the wire in the midst of this magnetic field. Now let's suppose the length of the wire from this point to this point is 20 centimeters and the angle that our wire makes with respect to our magnetic field is 60 degrees. Now we want to find both the magnitude and direction of the force exerted on our wire carrying our current by the magnet or the magnetic field created by our magnet. So in this case we're going to use the following formula. Force equals build times sine theta where the sine theta is simply sine 60. The L is simply our 20 centimeters but note that we're dealing with meters. This L represents meters. And that means we have to divide the 20 by 100 to give us 0 0.2 meters. So we must convert from centimeters to meters. Now the I is simply 35 amps and the B or magnetic field is 0 0.8 Teslas. So we plug these guys in, we plug them to our calculator and we get our force to be approximately 4.85 newtons. Now for the direction. How do you find our direction? Well remember we have to use the right hand rule. So we point our hand in the direction of our current. And our current is flowing this way. And then we have to point our fingers in the direction of our magnetic field which is going this way. So our current is going this way, field is going this way, and that means our force must be pointing into our board because our thumb points in the direction of our force. So our force is into the board or into the page and that is represented by circle with an X. So this means going into the board or into the page. Now suppose I take my wire and I orient it this way, so perpendicularly to our magnetic field lines. So our angle becomes 90. Now what is our force? And we're making the assumption that our current and length stays exactly the same. And this stays the same as well. So we plug our things in and we plug sine 90, which is simply 1, and we get 5.6 newtons. Note that this is larger than this force and that's because this force whenever our, whenever our angle is 90 degrees represents the maximum force that our magnet could create when our field is this and when our length is this and also when our current is this.